So today what we're going to do is show you how to find out if you're getting a real DaVinci Resolve or a fake one. So welcome to Techno Dad Life and my name is Jeff and on this channel we make technology simplified and today what we're going to do is something a little different. And so I recently bought a DaVinci Resolve dongle that worked for approximately a month and then stopped working. That's because this one is a fake. And so I want to show you how to avoid buying a fake product. So basically we have two things here. We have the real DaVinci Resolve here and this one is the fake one. Let's open these up and see how different they are. Now if we open up the real one you can see we get not only a USB drive but also a SD card. When I ordered this one I just got a USB drive. So this one is the real one and you can see this one uh, is not and I'll show you how here. So first of all this came with a sticker just like this one but it fell off almost immediately. It also came with a case but I lost that already. But the first thing you might notice is this one is rough, the real one, and the fake one is smooth. And the other thing you might notice is this little dot up here on this one is white and is clear on that one. That's because on this one, this is just a dollop of glue, where this one is actually, there is an LED light under it, so when you plug it in, it flashes on and off as the program accesses this drive. So if you've already bought one and it's white, instead of clear and it doesn't flash, then you should get your money back as fast as possible. Because what I found is when I bought mine, the person I bought it from, their account was closed by the time I figured out what was going on. And so I'm guessing what happens here is somebody takes actually a real drive and then makes multiple copies of it and then sells the copies uh, for slightly less money and then they can make up their money from the real drive. Now if we look at the back again they're almost the same. You can see again this is textured, this one is shiny, and they both have an inspection sticker on the back. This one though is punched, the real one, whereas this one on the fake one it's not punched. And on the top of the real one there is a dot or a hole and under here I'm going to guess there's not one. We'll take a quick peek under the sticker. And so under the fake one there is no hole at the top there. Another difference is if you look at these two, the fake one on this side is smaller loop and Actually, if you take the cap off, you can see, even see the end sticks out less too. Now on the real one, again, there is some writing right here. Fake one, no writing there. So let's take a look at some eBay ads and see if we can tell the difference between fake and real. So here I just searched Blackmagic Resolve dongle. So why you need the dongle is for the Studio Edition, which has extra features such as hardware encoding. So normally this is $299, so $99 for a brand new one seems like it's pretty cheap. So let's take a look at these. So I've already opened up some windows, and the first thing you'll notice with most of the fake ones is there's not a lot of pictures, and they don't have any packaging with them. So this is theoretically a brand new dongle, so now remember I said on the fake one this was white and it was just glue and here you can see it is white and I don't know if you can see in the video but there's a dot in the middle of the white like it's a dollop of glue. Now you may be tempted to get this but if your luck is any as good as mine then basically the dongle will probably only work for a month and by that time this person will no longer be on eBay. And if you take a look over here at the ratings, this person only has seven ratings. So let's just say they haven't been on eBay for very long. If we go to our next one, this one's a little more expensive. And here you can see it does have the writing there. Uh, but if you look over in this area that suspiciously looks like that is white, 
And then and again, it has the short loop here like on the fake one I have. And again, this seller only has four ratings, so they don't have a lot you can go on. So you're probably risking your money with this person too. Now, if we look at this next one, so this is actually for a dongle with an SD card, which sounds about right. That's what I had in mind. Now, if we go down to the dongle, so I want you to notice two things here. So if you look at that packaging and you look at this guy here, you can see, you see his, oh, this is hard to do backwards, his shoulder. Now, if we look at this man, he is cut off at the neck. So it's the same picture, but you can see it's really low quality picture. And if you go over to the packaging, everything looks okay, except for two things. So one is, again, we have the white dot there instead of the clear dot. And if you look at the packaging of the SD card and compare that to a real one, so you can see on mine there's a round cutoff there, which then you can put your finger in and pull that out. The one in this picture looks like there was room for another USB dongle in there. So I'm going to guess this one is fake also. So for our next one, only $180. And again, take a look at a few things. Only two ratings. Now, if you look at here, again, there's the white dot. And now the interesting thing is this is the rougher texture here, but the cap itself is smooth. So again, it's a fake cap. So, so they got the texture right on the body of the USB drive, but they still use the old smooth caps for that, which makes it look fake. Now, our final contender, again, you can see it has the white dot, so it's probably glue. The other thing you should be aware of is that although this person has more ratings, they are called Evil Deals. Now, a seller called Evil Deals doesn't really bring up confidence in them and me. Just saying. So I'm going to guess this one is fake. And another thing that you should look at is they've sold quite a few of them. Now, one interesting thing about all these is most all of these sellers are also based in California, too. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with California, but again, look twice before you do it. So are there any real DaVinci Resolve dongles on eBay? This one probably is, but it's actually more than the price if you could just buy it off of someplace like Amazon or any photography store, because it's usually only $2.99. So you're paying an extra $1.50 here. So my advice, if you're looking to save money on a DaVinci Resolve dongle, don't bother because you probably can't find it. And if you do get one cheap, it will probably only last for a month like mine. So what I suggest for you to save money and learn from my experience is just buy one from a real photography shop that you know you're actually getting the real thing. Well, that's it for today. Just a short little video about how not to waste your money like me. Hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.